we're going to turn to the most famous astrophysicist we know, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's also a best-selling author. His latest book is called Merlin's Tour of the Universe. Good to have you here. We always Welcome love seeing you. So many back. questions. Oh, yeah. So many questions. So many questions. His main question is, what am I doing with these ding-dongs this morning? But, <laughs> dumb it down okay, for us. Yes, yeah, sorry. Dumb it down for us. Well, let's talk about um, Butch and Sonny, as we like to call yeah, them. Sure, yeah. yeah be, they're our friends now. They yes. are. It's yeah. an amazing folk duo and, um, as a name band. They have a, they have a long history of going into space before this mission where yeah. they were, quote, stranded. Yeah. And what does it mean to be stranded when you have this huge space station, half a dozen other people there, food, water, except the water is, like, filtered P, so, yeah. so you, <laughs> that's no, fine. but it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Well, but, okay, <laughs> it's fine for 10 days, but not 90. <laughs> they're not stranded in the sense that there was no way they could get home. They just, they 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 scheduled it for nine months. They were supposed to be up there six days. Yeah, just a few days. So maybe they needed some extra underwear, but that's it. And the rest of their lives was just hanging out in you, space. You don't, you, there's no sympathy no for Butch and Sonny here. No, I, I, why? if I'm an astronaut and, oh, you're stuck in space, I'm an astronaut. That's why I want to be. So why, <laughs> why, is, why is everyone worried that they're stranded? Okay, what, how, what, do they look sad? No. No, they don't look well, sad. <laughs> Butch has a daughter who's a senior in high school. He's yeah. missing a lot. On He's, he has Mr. Senior. Didn't have yet. Christmas. They, they can't walk. Well, they're floating. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, when they come back, there's some adjustments you have to do. What do they have to do? Oh, no, so, so, so one of my favorite stories I heard from one of my astronaut friends is you give them, you give them something to drink when they get back to Earth, yeah. and they just let go of it, and it drops and breaks. Oh. They, have, wow. <laughs> they just forget to, like, find a place to set it down. This is With the hazards of being in space a yes. long time, you know. Well, how long will it take them to readjust? From what I've, I, in my conversations with them, just a few days, it's not that bad. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about, again, I think some people were mildly impressed by this this lunar eclipse last night. Not I. It's I just, well, I just want to read what you wrote. Okay. Uh, for Full moon enters and exits Earth's conical shadow in space, conical shadow in space, a long, slow, boring celestial event. Uh, how do you really feel, Neil? <laughs> well, I thought you loved space. I do. But Why are I, you I, blaming I, the eclipse? I, no, I'm people like, hear eclipse and they think solar eclipse, yeah. which is dynamic and you have to go travel to it and it lasts only a few minutes. Yeah. Lunar eclipses, if you're on the side of the Earth that's facing the full moon, yeah. you will see the eclipse. Okay. The side of the Earth. So, in that sense, it's not rare. Okay. They get one every couple of years, and it takes four hours, you know, so... But it's red, and it's cool, it's pretty, <laughs> and they call it blood moon, and that's how They call it really blood, because the, you know what that red comes from? It's what? sunlight uh, filtering through Earth's atmosphere leaking into our shadow, and those are sunset colors huh. on the moon. See, now, why do you think that's yeah, boring? That's nice. I think that's neat. No, it's a, it's a beautiful fact. Neil, let's talk about future space exploration. Well, sure. If it takes nine months to get to Mars, yes, only it three days to get to the moon, do you yeah. think we're overly fixated on Mars? A, a little bit. I mean, I don't know that we're fully ready for that. The moon is good because you can get to the moon in, in, a, in, a, in a news cycle, right? You know, three days and back, and you can... Nine months. By the way, so, uh, Sonny and Butch... We're stranded in space for nine months, and we're all worried about them. That's how long it takes to get to Mars. So get used to that, if that's going to be in our future. What should be the next step for NASA? I'm not, I don't dictate. What okay. I, what, you, you know what I want? I want the whole solar system to be our backyard. Okay. So whoever, whatever creativity you have, you have, any of us have, I want to look for life on Mars, mine at, uh, minerals on asteroids, let all vacation on the moon, yeah. okay. you know. Ooh. Oh, and, and, and imagine cooking on the restaurants. You know, they're interesting menus. But they have no atmosphere. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, good one. So lunar eclipses bore you. Jokes. What is the most exciting thing for you right now? Oh, this moment world? today is Pi Day. Oh. Uh, Three point one Pi four. Day uh, how far can you go in the list? I, I go eight decimal places. Not impressive. My son can go a hundred. Of course, he's trying he can. to post that today. And by the way, today's also Einstein's birthday. Wow. Oh, cool. Albert Einstein and Steph Curry's birthday. You were talking about the man earlier in the Let's show. Talk about being full of beautiful Genius. facts. Beautiful facts. facts. Well, just, you know, get the day, celebrate the day when you can. Neil, thank you. It's always a blast always with great. you. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.